Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'd like to answer the question on the topic of why resale prices are stagnant. Because how the resale prices determine are usually they have to be backed by their valuation. And the valuation is the market value of the property which based on their recent past transaction performance that is within their project or comparison with the surrounding nearby project with the similar size or layout. But why is the valuation will affect the resale price? Because if the valuation is unable to support the seller's asking price, it will be harder for the seller to sell higher than their valuation. Because the buyer can only able to loan up to the valuation or whichever is lower. Anything which is purchased above the valuation, they will have to fork out in cash, which most buyers are unwillingly to pay. For an example, if a seller wish to sell his property at $1.3 million, but the bank only given the valuation at $1.2 million, which means there is a 100,000 COV involved, which is cash over valuation, and the buyer will have to fork out 100,000 in cash in order for him to purchase a unit. Therefore, it's harder for them to afford. So in order for the resale price to go up, uh, unless there is a spike of strong demand coming in to the project itself, which means the demand is more than the supply, so the price will increase and go up. But if there are more supply than the demand, uh, then the prices will go down. And especially when a project go into resale after the TOP, every owners are for themselves and they will be free to sell at their own prices and nobody will be controlling the price unlike the new launches. So due to their valuation support and the buyers are unlikely to pay COV, so it will become very challenging for the seller to sell way above the valuation unless there is a sudden high demand for that project and the buyers are willingly to pay for. Therefore, the resale prices are usually hovering around the valuation range and become stagnant after a period of time. So this comes to the end of my video. And I would like to thank you, my friend, who inspired me not to be too naggy and long-winded. So our circuit breaker coming to an end and hopefully you will have learned something from this video. And please like, share and subscribe to my video if it's useful to you. And comment below if you like to raise a question. I will do my best to answer your question. And I will answer about why new launches are more expensive than resale in my next video. So hopefully I will see you in my next video as well. As always, stay home and stay safe.